Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Reagan Prescator. I'm a sales representative at Royal LePage Performance Realty and a buyer's agent at Scherter & Associates Ottawa Real Estate Team. And I'm Michael Scherter, real estate broker at Royal LePage Performance Realty and the team lead here at Scherter & Associates. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about what the seller's market looks like in 2021 and some tips for those of you looking to buy or sell in the current market. So Michael, why don't we start by having you give us some tips as a seller? So my number one tip that I have in the spring market in 2021 with all of my sellers is buy first. Know where you're going to move we can sell your property in four days seven days provided we have the right marketing plan and the right prep plan in place uh, we'll have no issue selling your house where we will have some difficulty in such a low inventory market is making sure that we have the right place for you to move into so there's no value in selling your house now and then not moving into a place that you love so my number one tip for sellers is to buy first Something else that we hear people ask a lot of questions about is, should I renovate my house before listing it? If so, what should I renovate? What should I look to do, look not to do? So let's talk a little bit about that next. So in such a low inventory market, we will have no problem selling your home, whether you do the upgrades or the recommended renovations or not. Uh, but the benefit that really is there for sellers is that smart renovations are going to pay off. Of course, the classic renovations, the bathrooms, the kitchens, fixing stuff that is broken, updating things that require updates, they're going to have huge value if we are moving forward with the sale because people that are buying this are going to be paying likely the most that anyone's ever paid for a house on a street like yours. And so they want to be able to justify and to be confident in spending that much money for your home. So when we're looking at helping a client get a top offer for their home, um, what's the biggest tip you have there? When you're selling, hold out to get top dollar. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of preemptive offers, also known as bully offers. And there's no purpose for somebody to make a preemptive offer or a bully offer if they don't think that that number, if they think that number is going to win come offer day, come the time you've set to have offers reviewed. And so they're looking to get a deal. They're looking to get a discount from you because they're trying to scare you that you may not get those offers. But I think provided we have, again, the right marketing plan, the right sales strategy for your home, and we understand the conceptual value of your home, there's always value in holding out until offer day and not going ahead and accepting those bully offers. So when we talk about tips for buyers, the number one thing that we always recommend that we've said in many videos before, Michael, is preparation. So for those of us just joining us or maybe those who haven't heard us say it enough, let's walk through the preparation stages tip. It cannot be overstated that preparation wins in multiple offers, not just having a pre-approved financing, not just having a status certificate reviewed by the lawyer, but understanding the major components of the house, understanding and maybe having a pre-reviewed offer looked at by your mortgage broker. These steps are going to be not only what allows us to come in unconditional and confidently unconditional, but also they really send a sign to the seller that we're there, we mean business, that we are going to be the people that actually close the deal. Uh, anybody can offer the right amount of money on paper, but to actually be the ones to, to move into that house, to close the deal, to be confident enough to firm up, that's what they're looking for in a multiple offer situation. So listing prices are a pretty huge topic of conversation in the current market. And I find this next tip kind of interesting. So let's talk about your number two tip for a buyer right now. So when I'm talking with buyers, especially first time buyers, um, they are blown away by the fact that you can purchase a home, it, that homes are being sold at 75,000, 100,000, 150,000, 200,000 over list price. But what they may be misevaluating is the fact that the listing price is artificially low. It's set 
low so that you get multiple offers so you get unconditional offers and so that people are bidding based on emotion and not based on dollar value and so what i've been recommending to my clients is just assume that every home is listed at one dollar and by doing that what you're doing is completely acknowledging that they are not willing to accept the listing price what they're looking for is for the bidders to come in and tell and offer what they think that home is worth so when we go out and look at homes as a as an agent what i'm doing is trying to assess it and provide a comparative market analysis for how much that home is worth and then i can provide a recommendation for my client about not only what it's worth but what i think it'll sell at and if those two don't align then maybe it's not the right house Thanks, Michael. And our last tip is there's value in winning. So what does that yeah. mean? So we have seen a pretty dramatic increase in housing prices over the last 12 to 18 months. And uh, I mean, there's a, a subtle joke going around the real estate world right now that says, uh, if you want to see a more expensive home, I'll just show you this one again tomorrow. Um, but it's actually quite truthful in the fact that the market is moving up rapidly. So purchasing a home today may actually have a lot of advantage as we move into a spring market. When the, the grass comes and the temperatures warm up and the snow all melts away, that's when the buyers really start coming out. And that's when we're going to see a hot market and some real price moves in 2021. So there may be some value in purchasing a home today even if it means being paying slightly over what you're confident it's worth today, that valuation by the time you close may be completely outdated. It may be worth much more than that. Thanks so much for those tips, Michael. And we hope that these um, help you guys give you a little bit more information and a little bit more on what to expect in the coming market. Um, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us or leave comments below and we'd be happy to answer them. Bye. Bye.